So earlier today, I decided to take a break from working on my next video. I had recorded five hours worth of footage and I was feeling pretty burned out, so I decided to hop on my Xbox and play Fortnite since I hadn't played in a while. And I saw a new game mode that I haven't seen there before. Rocket Racing. I was kinda intrigued by what I was looking at, so I decided to jump in and play a few matches. Not expecting much, but holy shit. This is beautiful. Now, before I fully go into this, I have to explain my relationship with the racing genre as a whole, so if you want my pure thoughts on this game mode, skip to the timestamp on screen. But to start things off, I have a love-hate relationship with racing games. If it's a game like Forza, I don't want to touch it, but if it's something like Grip or Hot Wheels Unleashed, I'll be ready to fucking go controller in hand. It's probably because of the nature of the controls and mechanics in these games. It doesn't feel like I have to stop to make a turn, I can just floor it if I want to and make sharper turns thanks to boosting and drifting. I'm not always stuck in the back waiting for the guy in front of me to mess up, I can just boost forward and hope he doesn't have a boost hidden away somewhere. That's why I played Hot Wheels Unleashed for so long. I felt like I had a ton of control and I was having a ton of fun thanks to the developer and custom maps and how absolutely insane they can get. But that just leads to the question, does Rocket Racing hold up? And all I have to say is that it holds up really well. First things first, the controls of the vehicle. The basic controls are not difficult. You accelerate with the right trigger, you brake in reverse with your left, you turn with your joystick, you force yourself into drifting by holding X, but you also have a boost that you can build up by drifting. And you also have air dodging and wall riding, which allows you to drive upside down and sideways, and also do a ton of aerial tricks. Now, you think this system would be complicated, but funnily enough, it's nowhere near that. After you do it a couple of times, it just feels natural when you have to air dodge on courses. Speaking of courses, I love how they're designed. It's not just a flat race course, but there's tons of secret areas, boost pads, and little shortcuts that you can take. And for the ones that don't have those, it's still interesting enough to keep my attention. And before I go on to the next section, there's one thing I like to add. When it comes to racing games, or at least the ones that I've played, the players are so spread out that you either accept your fate in the back, or you sit there in first with a 30 second lead. In this game, that doesn't exist. You and other racers are going to be clumped together like fish eggs. It is absolute chaos as everyone is trying to get ahead, but it doesn't get really annoying. Okay, sometimes it does, but it's mostly fun since it gives anyone a chance to get first, with some strategy and with some good luck and you actually need to fight for your place in first. The look of the maps are great as well. They don't look lame or boring, and thanks to Fortnite's color palette, the colors pop out really nicely. All in all, the game mode is very good, but there's one thing we have to talk about, and it's customization. I do not like it. The basic stuff like colors and decals are fine, it's just the fact that you only get one car that bothers me. Not only that, the only other way to get a car is to either grind the battle pass or buy a car in the shop, and these prices are ridiculous. But Neon, I hear you say. These cosmetics are also available in Rocket League as well, so there's a reason for these prices to be that high. I don't know what it's like in Rocket League, but that doesn't excuse the fact that a cosmetic is over $15. I do not want to pay a 16 to 25 fucking dollars for a cosmetic of a car. But besides that, and a couple of sections of the course where it just kills you outright, that's the only real complaints I have about this game mode. In conclusion, Rocket Racing is a really fun experience, and I suggest that you play it when you get the chance. I might also make a review on LEGO Fortnite, but that's a completely different beast entirely, and I still have that Spartan Strike video I have to get back to. Like always, hit the subscribe button if you enjoy content like this, share this around so I can grow as a channel, and I will see you guys next time.